What's shown here is the machine learning algorithm that we developed for 3D printing. Uh, machine learning algorithms all have the same general structure where you have the input variables on the bottom layer and the output on the top. But whereas the standard algorithms have essentially a black box in the middle that connects the input to the output, our algorithm actually embeds our domain knowledge of how the system works, where we put the underlying physics and chemistry of the various interactions that govern the responses. And this allows us to use much smaller data sets than you would normally use.